Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Hi, Hello. good, how are you? Good, how are you? I am good, I'm good now, but I have to tell you guys, at about 9 p.m. two nights ago, I was not good when I <laughs> turned on this movie. And about two minutes in, I quickly realized I needed to watch this in broad daylight. That's how scared I was. But I'm a big scaredy cat, so I need to know, are you guys big horror buffs can you watch them without the pillow covering your eyes or I'm a daytime horror watcher you know okay. I, I like I like a broad daylight horror film I like a matinee of a horror film um but I will say I I I love to read horror books and I can read I can read those day or night but movies yeah it's it's daytime for me for sure yeah, I, uh, I, I, I was like a massive horror buff in high, like high school and into my early 20s. And, uh, and I've seen so many of them, but I do find in a weird way, like, as I get older, you think it would be the opposite. As I right. get older and see more of the world, you'd think that I'd somehow be more courageous and, and, and more brave and be able to watch more horror movies. But I find them taking like more of a toll than they used to. Like sometimes I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't really want to go to this dark headspace tonight. I think, you know, the world is kind of a scary place as it is right now. I don't need to, um, I don't need to escape into, into further despair and horror. Okay, well, that brings me to my next question. In the real world, do you guys believe in ghosts? Emma, I know your character said she didn't mind a little haunting. Do you personally not mind a little haunting? I believe in ghosts, but I do mind a haunting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Have y'all ever had any paranormal activities go down in your lives? I've never had anything like, you know, like extreme. You know, I've had feelings of, right. you know, when I've walked into spaces or places, I was explaining to Emma earlier that I've definitely had nights in Airbnbs or hotel rooms where I've like woken up from a bad dream or uh, had just kind of a weird feeling or sensation. I've definitely like, I will Google news the, the address of wherever I am to be like, did anything weird ever happen here? Is there some news story about like a double homicide that I don't know I'm about? Nothing. Hold me this because now I'm going to do it because You're I'm going to start doing it now. Yeah. Because I am, I like, I'm the girl who opens Pandora's box. So I would definitely be the girl in the movie that's like, do, 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 like, and then finds it out. Like, that's you discover. Like, yeah. Life. The twist. Um, I lived in New Orleans on and off for years. And I mean, it's one of my favorite cities ever, but it is, it's just inherently spooky the history there and, you know, the vibes there. So, I mean, definitely had some some nightmares and night terrors when I was when I was living there. <laughs> oh yeah, my family's from like the most haunted town in Texas. Our ancestors, so I've got ghost stories I could tell you all for days, but we'll save that save that for another time. Yeah. So Emma, it's okay. Google it, Jefferson, Texas. Okay, Google it. But Emma, your character is a new mom, much like yourself. Congratulations, by the Thank way. Thank you. How did that change the way that you took on this role? Well, it was funny because I was I was saying to John earlier, I think ever, everyone was like hesitant to send me the script. They were like, we don't know how you're going to feel about this, you know. And uh, and I read it and I, I really loved it because I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I thought, you know, I haven't really played a mom before. And I thought this would be kind of a like, it, would, it was just a very interesting way to, you know, take on that kind of role for the first time. And I was lucky enough that my son was, I was able to bring him with me when we were filming in North Carolina. And so despite how scary um, this movie looks, like during the lunch break, like my mom would bring him and he'd like have lunch and hang out and like run around outside and, and, and play with the baby who played our yeah. baby. Um, so yeah, it was, it was actually very like, idyllic and and cute filming the movie which I know sounds so crazy when you see the, even just the trailer because it seems <laughs> terrifying but we actually had just it was a really like beautiful like fun kind of family feeling close-knit group and we really like made the best of just being uprooted in North Carolina together you know in this farmhouse in the middle of nowhere <laughs> right well that's amazing I mean this movie is amazing last thing it's a horror film and we're seeing it in theaters What's the best thing about watching a horror movie in the movie theater? Getting to scream with everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Like, I love going to the movies when people are like, also like, you hear them. During a horror movie, people are so much more vocal. Like, I don't know what the unspoken rule is of a horror movie in a theater, but people are talking, like, full conversations, and no one's mad about it. Like, everyone's just 
chit chatting very loudly and screaming and it's totally socially acceptable and I that's fun to me so yeah I feel like at home you know you can always hit pause and you know leave the room or something uh but you're just there is something about being in this big dark space where you kind of can't get up and you're trapped yep. and then also just this I mean a jump scare is never going to hit the same way at home as it is with surround sound and you know the proper full theater experience also so I want snacks when I watch a movie I want movie theater popcorn and I want snow caps and I oh, want yeah. fountain soda yes and I don't know about you guys but I don't have any of those things in my house so me neither it's so true I'm a bunch of, I'm a bunch of crunch girl but I also mix it with my popcorn you mix it into the popcorn That's yes true. yes I hope everyone gets their snacks and you know maybe they might need to bring a pillow to the theater for this one but it's so good thank you guys so much for talking thank to me. you so much appreciate no, you watching it I don't feel like I'm alone here What is it? What is it?